The Guillotine Cartel. Like people with the same uh, like attitude and uh, same like vibe will go through. They're not bad people. I'm just saying like I was trying to like uh, sell like studio time and shit for mm-hmm. uh, uh, at a real at a real studio prices, and they would get like pissed off because it's not like. It kind of sucks though, man, because like that part of town could be fucking popping, but it's like the city just kind of like it it, there. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't even look that way anymore. At man. one time it was popping. At, at one time all those places were like bars, mm-hmm. like where Saz was. There was a bar. Oh really? Yeah. Oh shit. And it had like different like a tortilla next door to it, and like it was like a it was popping back in the day. Yeah, I remember because uh, when I was younger, my dad used to like. He's like, oh, we're gonna go to church. It's like, cool. There was like a little, like, like Spanish church there, Mexican right, right. church. And uh, I mean, I wasn't really paying attention to like, you know, it was just a cool neighborhood. Well, but it was just a neighborhood to me. Like, right. to me, I was just looking at, like uh, where all the like the racket or the the handball courts were at, and like, yeah, yeah, the fucking little park right and there, the, the, and with tennis courts, and back yeah. then they had labs, and labs right next labs. to it. Yeah, 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 it was labs right next to it, and I was like, oh, you know, this ain't so bad. But I mean, I wasn't seeing like, like. Uh, I wasn't like, oh yeah, this place is fucking dope over here. Yeah. To me, it was just like a regular neighborhood and shit. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that's when that's when I stumbled upon uh, coconuts. I don't know if you remember that spot. Coconuts. Yeah, it was like you know where the Circle K is at, right there by the yeah. little park. It was like right across it. The zoo David Coca used to own it, and like um, now he owns a uh, Dead Betty. He sells like incense and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but back then, that's how like how I got into graffiti, like fucking really hardcore. It was coconuts, coconuts, yeah, damn, yeah. And he used to have like a bunch of artists, like just run through there, piece up his fucking building, and then bounce out and shit. That's it was like dope. really dope, man. But um, yeah, I, I think of the city, you know, look that way, like because I know I know Motel Seventeenth Street, like yeah. the, they get a bad rap, you know. Yeah, because uh, Savas was right there in the middle yeah. of a. Uh, between 4th Street mm-hmm. and 6th Street. That shit was like, what the... I mean, like, no, it was cool fucking people. Like, it's not like a that bad of a part of town. It was the reputation Savs had before it was Savs. It was that haphazard. Haphazard. So, like, all those kind of... Punk rock fucking Punk shit, rock yeah. people and, like, devil... I'm not saying that they're wrong, bad people or anything. <laughs> it was just kind of a shock. Like, what the hell? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I... Uh... I remember playing a couple of shows there. They're pretty dope. Yeah, I had a lot of fun there. I had a lot of fun there. That place was fucking haunted. Didn't it? Didn't like somebody get shot there or something? Yeah, so I got fucking <laughs> shot. Dog, I didn't I fucking like, know what? that. Sh- I didn't know that shit until I already rented that motherfucker. Oh damn! And then I guess apparently someone else OD <clears> there. Damn, that's crazy. And I didn't know that shit. I was like, damn. No, but I think after the fact that like this was like. uh uh, maybe when it closed down, like oh, whenever Saf's closed down, I think, or I can't remember what happened, but somebody was there, maybe almost got shot or got stabbed. No, right? someone got shot there. Oh, okay. It was right before uh, it closed down. That's oh, why it's okay. one of the reasons right. why they closed down. It closed guess. down. Okay. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Was it, it on some gangster shit? Or no, was I think like it some, was uh, some weirdo. It was a show. They threw there because now they store just all kinds of shows, random shit, random shows, and I think it was a hip hop show, and uh, they were were a real aggressive one or whatever, and they fucking uh, wind up throwing down outside, and someone got shot. I think a bouncer got shot. Damn, that's crazy. Because I remember being there a couple of times, and like, uh, I remember some random ass dude just came up to me and was like. You know, he heard me spit or whatever, and he was just like, "Check out my freestyle, bro." I'm like, "All right, cool." And he wouldn't stop. And one I'm of like, those people. Yeah, one of those motherfuckers. And I was like, uh, I'm trying to go outside, smoke a ciggy, or you know, whatever. Yeah. But he just raps the whole fucking time. He even trying to talk to the chick or whatever, and he's still yeah, rapping. Yeah, and it, you know, he's still rapping. And then uh, eventually, I'm like, cool, dude. Like, I go outside, and then uh, he goes outside. Like, you know, like maybe a couple of minutes later, when I'm there and shit, and he's like. But that shit was good, right? Yeah. He's like, I want to say it's better than your shit, bro. 
Like he just started getting all up in my face. (laughs) I'm like, what a dick. No, you know me. I'm just like, yeah, dude, that shit was fucking ill, bro. That shit was fucking. I'm just dumb. like agreeing with them. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna go to jail over some dumb shit. <laughs> or how about when you're fucking, uh, you're showing somebody your fucking track, and everyone's all into it, and then some dumb motherfucker just starts rapping over. Just it. Rapping over it. I man. hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that shit. That's hip hop for you, man. Yeah. It's like Jesus. It's like, yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, cause I I've been at shows before and like. I'm like, you know, have my beer, just chilling, just vibing out. And somebody would be like, I can rap way better than this fool. And like, somebody will just like, you know, come so, on your ears, mm-hmm. start like freestyling. I'm like, okay, dude, like, fucking have a show here. Show me Yeah, that, yeah definitely, like, definitely. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> shit, shut the fuck up, dog. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But yeah, man, like, so that was a pretty dope place. Um, it was pretty fun for while it was it lasted. That motherfucker was haunted. There's a lot of spooky shit that went in there. Um, I think uh, uh me and Caddy are gonna do a podcast about that. Just Savs here soon. That's dope. Yeah, because like uh the throwback, the throwback. <laughs> but bro, like so much spook, crazy, weird shit was happening when we had that fucking place. That's crazy. And then when it, when when we stopped uh when we uh. Uh, we closed it down Like our luck lo- Not our luck But our surroundings And everything Just kind of changed It was weird We would see um, Like uh, uh, Shadows walking uh, People would knock on the doors Like uh, cra- Crazy Like People Would go to our door And just like Talking to us Like Crazy Like just weird looking people That we wouldn't even See naturally Around Las Cruces Hair all fucked up, eyes all fucking crazy. It's like a drifter. So some... Yeah, like crazy drifters and shit would go over there and just like leave their fucking energy and their craziness in there. And Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> that shit's crazy. The man. whole energy in there when we first got it, dog, like it was completely, complete. First of all, I, I signed a shitty contract because I didn't think it needed that much work. But that place was all fucked up, dog. So what they they like were like you can rent it but you have to fix it at the same time or what? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Totally For like up. cheaper rent though, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I still think I got the shit end of the deal on that motherfucker. I had to uh, clear all that motherfucker out. It was like completely black, painted with like some black like a uh, latex paint that was so hard to paint over. All the windows were like. Drilled with fucking uh, uh, like doors and pieces of wood, so it was like completely jet black. There was only <laughs> two fucking uh, lights working out there, so everything was like dim as fuck, right? Yeah. Um, there was so much shit inside of there, like just trash and random shit inside of there, dog. Like you would have to kick shit out of the way. The stage was broken. Uh, there was shit drilled. Onto the freaking uh, walls. The walls had holes in them. Both bathrooms were clogged up. Uh, the carpets in both the... What we, what we made the studios mm-hmm. were burned. Like someone burned fucking holes in the damn carpet. It stunk. There was holes in the damn... Uh, uh, f- uh, floor that we had to put like sheet metal over. <laughs> It definitely sounds like a uh, like there were just punk shows like straight fucking straight punk, punk shows. shows yeah, it sounds like a punk venue and shit. That like shit was so fucking fucked shitty fucked to freaking yeah. uh, fix back up. Why am going upside down in there just just for the remodel on that bitch? We made that whole look motherfucking dope. We put a green screen back there, but like a wall green screen. We got it like completely even and sanded down to oh, us okay. perfectly. Flat and then the whole the whole wall was green. Do you remember going over there? Uh, I mean, yeah, I I don't remember the green screen. Though. Yeah, it was on the very front of the wall. Uh, like right when you walk in, the whole green screen was like a uh, five pieces of sheetrock next to each other, and just made it all flat, and then painted with that neon green. Okay. Then all the lights were shooting on it. Maybe it was I nice. did see that. Fuck, I can't remember. Yeah, cause those, those sounds were a blur. Cause like usually we would like do shows and then like all faded away. Yeah, just get all faded and shit and like fucking yeah, it was crazy. I would like for some reason I would legitimately 
get like nervous when I was by myself when that motherfucker when it hit like one o'clock. <laughs> really? I got like scared, dog, to the to the point like I would lock the doors outside. I would lock the studio doors. I would fucking uh, have my pistol. I would be fucking like, what the fuck is something's gonna pop out of here? Not like someone's gonna rob me. Type of shit is I think something's gonna pop out of this fucking scary ass place. That's nuts, man. Definitely bad vibes there. 